Hello everybody and welcome back to another modern gameplay video. Today I'm gonna try to fulfill something that I've wanted to do for a long time here on this channel. So for the past year, on and off, I've constantly tried to brew the infinite Jace combo, aka the Jace Cunning Castaway combo, and I could never decide on a shell that I wanted to do for the deck because there's so many different ways you can build it. There's so many different color combinations. You can play a creature variant, a tempo variant, a ramp variant, a hard control variant, and all plethora of colors. So I finally think I decided on what I want to do for the deck. So we're gonna run it here today and hopefully jank some people out. So as always, hit that like button down below if you're hyped for today's video, and let's jump right into the deck tech followed by the gameplay. Hope you enjoy. If you wanted to pick up today's deck, or any cards really, it would be awesome if you purchased through our decklist link down below. That is our tcgplayer.com affiliate link, and when you purchase through that link, it really helps support the channel. This video is supported by our generous patrons. If you'd like to join the marination as well, you can find our Patreon link down below in the description, and you'll also gain access to our Patreon exclusive Discord server where we discuss deck ideas for future videos. So keep in mind, I did put in some backup win cons as budget changes because Okos and Teferi Time Rattlers are effing expensive on Moto, so I'd recommend adding one more of each of those, but the backup changes are not that bad, so we're gonna try it as it is and see how it does. Let's check it out. So for those who don't know the combo, it is Jace Cutting Castaway with Doubling Season. So Doubling Seasons makes walkers enter with double the loyalty right away so you can ult them immediately. And Jace Cutting Castaway conveniently goes infinite with this because Jace Cutting Castaway can minus five to put out two clones of itself that are non-legendary. Therefore, it's gonna go up to six when it enters, it can minus five and stay alive, and it's going to make two clones which will then be able to ult infinitely. Each of those copies are gonna be ulting and ulting and ulting, and at the end of it, you're gonna end up with ultimate Jaces that you can then minus, minus two, to create a bunch of illusion tokens, two two illusion tokens. So this two card combo is going to give you infinite two twos, and that is the plan. So let's move on to our backup win cons. Oko can just single-handedly win the game, and you know that. It makes a bunch of 3-3s three and nerfs the opponent's creatures, and makes them prone to a lot of different kind of removal spells. And then Jason Teferi can straight up win the game. Uh, like, Teferi is going to give you an emblem immediately with when you have a doubling season out, and uh, that's just pretty much gonna get there because you can start exiling everything the opponent controls. And Jace is going to enter a double loyalty, then tick up like one time and then ult immediately. And you know that is a game winning trigger. And so let's move on to our hate pieces slash the rest of our planeswalkers. Narset and Teferi can draw you cards, Teferi can bounce things, Narset digs really deep for our combo pieces, but they're also hate pieces because Narset makes the opponent unable to combo off if they are trying to draw a whole bunch of cards. And then Teferi can make it so your opponent cannot interact with your stuff because they can only play magic at sorcery speed. So it turns off counter spells and makes our stuff able to resolve. So that is like the main piece. And then we have Chalice of the Void because we do have a lot of stuff that is not one drops. So I felt like I could freely just play Chalice of the Void in here. I'd only have to replace basically Path to Exile, which is easy to do. And Chalice of the Void is gonna shut down Hand Disruption if the opponent doesn't have one on the first turn, probably, but shut down a lot of decks because a lot of decks in Modern have a very low curve and have a lot of one drops. So Chalice of the Void is gonna shut down lots of things. And then let's move on to our removal. So like I said, Path to Exile because of Chalice of the Void had to be replaced, but we're replacing with Journey to Nowhere, which isn't a big deal. It should still work perfectly fine. And then we have a play set, a Supreme Verdict, because we do have tons of walkers and we want a clear board when we drop our walkers. So play set a Supreme Verdict to help that out, but hopefully we don't run into control or else the Supreme Verdict is gonna be quite dead. Uh, now let's move on to our cantrips. Uh, normally you'd be running things like Opt and Serum Visions, but because of Chalice we are running some walls instead and they work out pretty well to protect our Planeswalkers. Um, so they can block pretty well because they're zero fours, but they also ETB draw a card and thanks to Modern Horizons we are finally getting Wall of Blossoms into Modern, so these good blockers should support a lot. We have a total of 24 lands. Typical Bant mana base, nothing too special, and let's move on to the sideboard. As always, if I do change it, I will let you know right now. 
So we got two copies of Damping Sphere. This is to stop uh, combo decks and Tron decks and whatnot. And we got two copies of Dovin's Veto as our counter spell against control and opposing counter spells. And then we have two copies of Rest in Peace. This is for graveyard strategies like Dredge. Then two copies of Stony Silence against Affinity against Urza decks. And then two copies of Ashiok Dream Render as additional graveyard hate, but also can be a backup win con against control because if you Get late in the game and you have a doubling season now and Ashiok is going to enter with 10 loyalty and it's going to be able to mill your opponent for 40 cards and that is just going to straight up beat control unless they can just hard remove Ashiok so that's pretty nice. Also makes opponents unable to search libraries so you can also bring it in against decks like Scapeshift and they're not going to be able to use a plethora of their land searching spells. And then we have two copies of Detention Sphere. This is for opposing planeswalkers because we don't really have the best ways to deal with them in our main board so we do need a couple ways there. And then we have one copy of Timely Reinforcements to bring in against aggro decks to gain six life and give us some blockers. And then we have um, one copy of Celestial Purge. This is mainly for Liliana of the Veil because that thing's annoying, making us discard a whole bunch of cards and whatnot. And then we have one copy of Gideon, Ally of Zendikar to grind out against control decks, make us a bunch of tokens, and also beat down as a 5 5 indestructible. That's about it. I'll get the stream started and I'll see you in the first round. Got a game here against Ben's Walker. We played against this guy a long time ago. Um, we're going to be able to play with some infinite Jace combo in Modern, and that looks like a solid keep. I do need to draw lands, but if I draw a land, I get out Oko. Um, you know, I, I would start on... You know, I am going to start on the Breeding Pool. But I do want to get out the turn two Wall of Omens, so I'm going to have to fetch and shock probably a Hall of Fountain um, off of this Flooded Strand. Is it Storm? Okay, it's Delver. We can deal with Delver, but it flies over my wall, so that's not ideal. Okay, I drew another fetch, so I'm just gonna fetch a basic planes here. And play the wall. Cantrip, draw a card. Try to find probably more lands. I wouldn't mind more lands. I gotta get up to this doubling season into the Jace. That's the combo. But I'm bummed out that they're on Delver, so they're gonna have like a lot of counter spells. They're gonna have Remands, Mana Leaks, Crypto Commands, stuff like that. So it's gonna be hard to resolve anything, but if we get a Teferi, that'd be the saving grace. Okay, there's a Pyromancer. They can't really swing, but this Wrath is gonna do work. Another Wrath, not ideal. Okay, so. I think I kind of want to play an Oko and turn something into an Elk. Or maybe I just literally just make treasure and just keep it alive until I get to the mana for Verdict. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to fetch and shock a Hall of Fountain here. And I'm just going to play Oko and tick him up. So green, blue, whatever. Oko can draw the aggro off for a little while. No! Force of Negation. Hitching Snapcaster. Okay, at least that's not going to hit my doubling season or Jace. Don't flip your Delver. Okay, good. So the opponent's having similar luck to us when we play Delver. Oh, now that they play the second one, it's going to flip. <laughs> yes, you wait. So now they have the fetch, it's guaranteed that at least one of their Delvers will flip. All right, let's go ahead and block a wall here. Take two. Please land. Any land. Okay, there we go. So let's verdict here. Can't counter that. You could spell queller it if you had a simian spirit guide. Okay, it works. And now we just got to draw land, play season, and then play Jace. That's it. That's the game. Okay, Snapcaster just for beatdowns. That's fine. They have two cards left. If one of them is not a counterspell, or if they're they're not counterspells, then we should be good. Because we got lethal in two turns. Taken two. I could just Wrath again. Yeah, let's just Wrath again. I have more where that came from. I got a third Wrath ready. Up, little Caro Caro. Good morning from Australia. Well, good afternoon from United States. You were here when you explained the deck. How do you go infinite? 
Um, doubling season in Jace Cutting Castaway, because this will enter with six loyalty and minus five, and then that'll make two clones. Those ones will minus five make two clones. You just end up with infinite Jaces, therefore infinite two twos. Okay, I missed my land again, but let's go with, uh, Wall of Bosoms. And still didn't hit a land. All right, Wall of Omens. Can I get a land this time? Still no land. Okay. I'm, I literally have my combo ready to go. Please. Thank you. <laughs> All right, fetch. Let's just get a basic planes. Play a doubling season. Please, resolve. Thank you. Okay, now all I gotta do is resolve a Jace. Easy as that. We have two Jaces. Got the backups, and without Cryptic Command, they're not gonna be able to deal with this doubling season. So I think we might have played this on the channel a long time ago. I'm not sure. If I did, it was probably a long, long, long time ago. Okay, let's go for it. It's time. Jace Cunning Castaway. Resolve, please. Please? Pretty please? Teferi also just wins. Teferi Insta Emblems. No! They had Force Negation. Alright, well we have another one. We have one more chance. One more chance. Fear and Visions, yep. Come on. Come on. I'm so ready for this. I'm so... Ready. Make infinite gains. There shall be infinite gains. All right. Tries again. Please don't concede. Let me do it. Yay! Minus five. <laughs> oh, I make double the tokens. <laughs> I make double the tokens. <laughs> All right, they scoop it up. <laughs> All right, on to sideboard. <laughs> I just had five Jaces on board. <laughs> okay, so against Delver, um, I probably want to... I mean, rest in peace, shuts down Snap, but I don't care. Um, Purge kills the Pyromancer. It's probably Timely Reinforcements. I probably want that. Um... D spheres fine, but I already have two D spheres and a, a four rads. I think that's good enough. Uh, Journey or uh, Chalice of the Void is pretty good here, actually. Um, I think I'm just gonna cut one Wall of Blossoms and just bring in the Timely. Okay, they're on the play this time, so they can get a jump start on the tempo. Okay, there's a Chalice of the Void and two walls. I'll keep it. Without these doubling seasons, this is a good five card hand right here. Hello. Mr. Pinku, thank you very much for the follow. All right, uh, Misty Rainforest, go. Okay, definitely getting remanded, but I'm still gonna go for it. Get our green source, and then we'll get our white source here. Oh, never mind, we drew a blue source. All right, so play the island, Chalice of the Void. Let me guess, remand? They're gonna bolt us. Oh, they don't have it. Oh, man. I don't think they have a... They don't have it. Okay, cool. They didn't have the counterspell. We get a Chalice out, and that's great. They don't have any creatures? What is going on over there? Okay, let's just play a Wall of Blossoms. Try to cantrip into another land. Dang, I, I suck at drawing lands. How you doing, Mr. Pinku? Uh, okay, they're gonna draw two cards. Hey, Gab, how's it going? 
Okay, now we can hold up cryptic command. So with Chalice, that shuts down Opt, Serum Visions, Bolt, um, Delvers, and probably Spell Pierces. So yeah, a good a good chunk. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Let's grab a basic planes here. Well, I do have the Tension Spheres in the deck, and if I can draw one of those, that'd be great. I can get it. I can get the, the D here. I can get the B. Come on. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. That's what I wanted. So take the D. It's the way we like it. Okay. Um, I can cheat in breeding pool and tapped here. All right. Um, one, two, three, and then I have access to four. Then I can wrath. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I'm down with that. I'm done with that. Let's do that. Uh, and then... Wrath, I think. And then we just win? <laughs> yeah, okay. They're, they're empty-handed. We got it. I'm pretty sure one of these doubling seasons will resolve. <laughs> we'll see if they top a... Let's see if they top a uh, counter spell or like a snapcaster. Either or. Oh no! That's gonna put Archmage's Charm on top. Oh no! They're just gonna draw two? Okay, they're just gonna draw two. And one of them's a land. Okay, so one left. One left. I actually would not mind the land here. Oh yeah, their last, oh yeah. If I top a land, it's over, cause I'll have just enough. Yeah, they scoop. They're not gonna win under the lock of the chalice. <laughs> Sweet, I can't believe we actually took something down. <laughs> it works, it works, dude. Block on the ground, chalice them out, eventually just get there. Got a game here against Barrier, and yes, we're gonna be on the play with some infinite Jace combo in Modern, and that is a solid keep. I like going Wall and Oko. It works so well because Oko shrinks things to three threes, and you know what? This is a zero four. So it works so well with the walls to make things just like in blocking range for our walls. That's cool. It costs 60 bucks around here. No, dude, it's, the internet is takes up the entire world. So if you're going to order it online, it's 25 bucks. Oh, yeah, different currencies. I, I usually forget about that. 11 euros so 11 so one euro is like two and a half us dollars eleven euros in Germany sounds like a good deal let's get a basic forest here flare wall wait what did the opponent once upon a time for Vesuva okay something spicy is going on here all right, Misty Rainforest, crack it. Get a basic island. Go for Oko. Tick up Oko. So hopefully they're playing a strategy that gets disrupted by Oko. I don't know what would be playing Bant, Once Upon a Time, Vesuva. Like, is this actually Amulet Titan? What's the Hall of Fountain for? Oh, no, they copied our Hall of Fountain. Okay, so it's just Amulet Titan. All right, that's, um... This is going to be a difficult match. Very difficult. We might just die next turn. Alright, let's nerf Azusa. And let's play a Wall of Blossoms. Frame Verdict. Alright, fetch. Grab a Basic Planes. Play a Wall. 
Okay, there's our combo. We just gotta live for a turn. Please no sim and growth chamber and, and, and amulet. If they don't have it for two turns, we win. We're so close. Oh, they just do, they have nothing? They just have nothing? Just in case they can give a trample somehow. Double block, just in case. You never know. They could kill one and somehow give a trample with like something. They can give it plus two plus O oh in vigilance. They want to kill the green wall. They even moved it specifically to the front to kill the green wall. Racist. They're not going to pump it with the Slayer Stronghold. And they're going to play a backup Azusa. Let that one go. Cycles uh, Teleria West. Yeah, they're going to transmute. They're going to go get their Pact. They get the Summoner's Pact. Yep. And they have the Simic Growth Chamber. No! Okay, well, as long as they don't have the amulet, we should be able to get off this infinite Jace here. And they can't beat that unless they got um, Engineer's Blossoms on zero. So let's nerf Azusa again. Play a land, fetch it. Get a basic island. Play doubling season. All right, next turn, we have it. We have it next turn. So opponent, please don't do anything insane here. 11 euros is 12, wait, $1,250 or $12.50? Dang, you're lucky if you get those cheap cards there. How much is like Bloom Tenders and Oracle and Moldias over there and stuff like that? Is the EDH community as big like in Germany and, and like Europe as it is over here? Because EDH is huge over here. Yep, they got the Titan, but do they have the Amulet? They would have played it first if they had it, so I think we're living for a turn. And then we can play our Infinite Jace, we can wrath their Titan away. They do have to pay for their Summoner's Pack. Did they cast Summoner's Pack? They did! So they even have to spend next turn paying for it. So I think we got this one. Because they're gonna, they're gonna lose their board to my Wrath. No, wait, wait, no, I have to go Jace here. So, yeah, I think I got this. I'm gonna go so wide. There's no possible amount of tokens I can make to go as wide as your mom, but I can go as wide as I need to. Yeah, dude, you think you're gonna make a lot of tokens? That's a joke. That's a joke. You're not gonna go nearly as wide as me. I'm the widest there is. I mean, se second widest. Your mom is still the widest. Oracle of Moldiah is 20 bucks. That's crazy. Because, like, here, Oracle of Moldiah is, like, probably, like, 39 bucks. How much is Black Lotus over there? Like, if you were to get a German beta Black Lotus, I don't think there's alpha cards in German, is there? Or, I think, I think the alpha is, like, only English, right? Because it started here in the USA. All right, well, I know what we're gonna do. First things first, let's nerf this Titan, and then we can go Jace. And we can start the tokening. All right, opponent, you are free to concede whenever you want, or you could just transmute it to Laria West for a, uh, you could just transmute it to Laria West for, um, a engineered explosives, but I'm gonna make as many tokens as I need to here. One more, one more. Okay, now let's start minus twoing. Cheapest Lotus is about eight thousand bucks. Yeah, that sounds about American price. If you get like a very bad one. Are the opponent conceding now? Yeah, they are conceding. Sweet, let's move on to the sideboard. Um, so against Amulet Titan, I probably want more D spheres. I probably want Dovin's veto, right? Because I want to counter like engineered explosives and amulet. 
and you know stuff like that maybe i don't know hello zid popper thank you for the follow i want damping sphere and i want that's probably it so um i can probably cut my backup win cons like teferi and jace they're not going to be countering our spells. Like, they could have Pact of Negation, but I'm not counting on that. So maybe I don't need these to fairies either. And I can just cut a couple walls. You know, maybe I leave in these walkers and I just cut walls. Because walls are more filler than those are. I don't have to block many early game things. So I guess, I guess this will do. So it's running like that. Yeah, I have more Jaces and they have zombies. Okay, that's not bad. Let's keep that. We can journey in Azusa or something and then Narset to find our goodies. I'm going to tab go. Oh, it's not it's not super friends. It's uh Narset to Fairy, Big to Fairy, Little to Fairy, two different Jaces. Ashiok, Narset. And, uh, yeah, it's not super, super friends, but it's super friends in a way. Okay, um, I'm going to, uh, chalice on one. I would chalice on zero to stop, like, summoners packed, but I really don't want them to go playing, um, you know, the, um, amulet. So then with... Them playing without the amulet means that I don't die right away, which is good. Hello, Tawny Toe Tree Tello Loto. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna Narset and just go dig in here. Actually, actually, do I deal with this Courage Tribe Scout? Hmm. Probably you just play, um,. I wanted a second white source. Let's just play Narset. So the thing about the Narset though is it's gonna bottom my lands. Yeah, so you just bottom three lands, but I got a second doubling season just in case something happens to the first one. I'm gonna put a land into play. Vesuva copying Simig okay, they copy Hinterland Harbor. They should have copied Breeding Pool. Tawny Tree Tolo. Tawny Tree Tolo. Tawny Tree Tolo. Maybe your name is backwards. Olo Turdy Knot. Okay, they just had Titan into Field of the Dead. Fair. Fair. They can attack Narset here, so it dies when I use it. Swinging at Narset, they are. I got a land, that's cool. Let's kill off Narset to grab a the Fairy Time Raveler, Play Flow Strand, let's Detention Sphere to get rid of Prime Time. I probably should have journeyed to nowhere Prime Time and saved the Detention Sphere for when they get a million zombies next turn. That would have been smarter. Packed Negation, I knew it. Okay, then I just die. I mean, I could technically live, but then the, the Field of the Dead's probably gonna kill me. Yeah, I still need another land, too. It's not gonna work. Alright, so what was our next card? Was our next card actually a Supreme Verdict? It wasn't. Alright. Uh, gotta run it right back like that and just hope for the best. Yeah, let's do it. We're on the play now, so I can get the Chalice out quicker and maybe get, like, Damping Sphere. Like, play first? Yes. I mean, that's the combo, but there's nothing to support it. Nothing at all. I mean, I guess if I see the combo, I should keep, right? Tritolo stands for TNT. Oh, wait. Two, two night, reet, two night, Rito, low. It's just Italian. I'm not I'm not good at speaking other languages. 
I'm very white, so... I'm very white, so I just speak English. <laughs> Oh, they're discarding. Jovan's Vita, I like that. Because that means that I can counter... Um, you know. Explosives on zero. The thing. The amulet. Yo, Damping Sphere is good. Now this is a waste. <laughs> Just picked up some full art corrupts for your popper deck today and then super stoked for that. I didn't know there was a full art corrupt. I'd probably recognize it when I see it, but I didn't know that was a thing. That sounds cool. Are they missing their land drops? There it is. Come on, land. Land. Ah, oh, close. The fairy. Okay, good. Um, I'm just going to tick up to fairy. So they're not going to counter my doubling season. That's good. All right, so they can play a green spell here. Don't be Azusa. What this be? The art is super weird. You have zero idea what's in the art. I could probably figure it out. I can make an educated guess. I'm not good with like actually guessing what the art is, but I'm good at educated guesses. I don't, I'm not sure you could call them educated guesses, but they're guesses. I'm a pretty decent guesser. Explosives on two. Can't counter that, so... That's gonna stick. Can I get a land, though? Alright, so... I guess I'm going to... Minus Jace on nothing, because I don't want it to fizzle. Draw a card, try to find a land, please! Please, land! Please! I need it! Yes! Alright, cool. I got the land. Uh, let's go get a basic. I kind of want a hauled fountain here. Let's go for the doubling season. And the next turn we got Jace. So opponent. Their opponent's going to blow up our, our damping sphere here. And now if they go amulet, bounce land, titan, we die. But if they don't have exactly that, then we win. So... Good trade-off? Please, opponent, don't have the nut. Please don't have the nut. I'm not ready for it yet. You have the original Bitter Blossom and Foil and one of your EDH decks. I wanted the... Um, I wanted the Secret Lair Bitter Blossom, but it sold out so fast. Like, I wanted to go on there and buy one. It's like everything except Serum Visions was sold out. Okay, so the opponent didn't go off yet. Do you have an amulet? They don't. They don't have an amulet. Okay, so we win here. Because I have to parry, so they can't even interact. And then I can also hold up Dovin's Veto. What was that? Force of Vigor? Are you serious? Are you serial? Oh no, now they're going to have Titan. Well, I'm forced to go for a backup bitter, or whatever you call it here, doubling season. So, let's see that Titan. There it is. I can't deal with it. They get Rex Sage. No, dude. Come on, man. So close. They dealt with two doubling seasons. There's two more in the deck. We're four, 44 cards left in the deck, so it's going to be kind of hard to find another one. And now they're transmuting for a Summoner's Pact and they can get their Titan. What a bummer. But they are going to have to pay for that on their upkeep. Okay, looks like they have enough because they had two more lands. 
So first they miss a land drop, and now they're flooded. But being flooded when you have Field of the Dead doesn't matter. You get flooded, you're good because of Field of the Dead. But now we get to go Verdict and hold up Dovin's Veto, so at least there's that. But I know they're just going to slam Titan next turn, so no reason to even like do anything about it. They attack to Fairy. Fairy's down to two. Yo, another Damping Sphere? Oh, that actually stops it! That actually stops it! That's so good! Okay, so start on Verdict. Start on Verdict. And then Damping Sphere. And now, these are all wastes! Now you have three wastes and you can't cast Titan. You need a basic forest to cast Titan. Oh, they lost! They lost! The Damping Sphere turned their Bounce Lands into wastes! And then now they can't pay for their packs! <laughs> yes! That is the ultimate victory! That is the ultimate victory! Oh, I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. The Clutch Damping Sphere to turn their lands into wastes. So they died a pact. Oh man, that was definitely one of the best wins I've ever gotten in my entire life. I loved every bit of that and would not change a single thing. I'd be darned if that's not making it into the YouTube video. Hit that like button for that one. Got a game here against Dream Nut and we're gonna be in the play with some Infinite Jace combo in Modern and we have to mulligan this hand because it doesn't have mana. This one does have mana so we will keep it. Try to get up to this Wrath. Um, I kind of want to bottom... Like, I want my mana, and I think I'm going to bottom a Detention Sphere, because if the board gets clunked up by that time, I'll just Wrath, so... Wrath should do the job. But if they have, like, a Planeswalker or something, or, like, Artifacts, then I'll regret not keeping Detention Sphere, but we currently don't know what they're on. It looks like Jund so far. Never mind, they didn't Thought Seize us, so it's probably not Jund. Are they going to cycle a card here? Like, is it Living End? They're not going to cycle a card here, so it's not living in. It might just be Jund and they didn't have Hand Disruption on turn 1, which would be a miracle. That never happens. Okay, Black Green Rock. It looks like Black Green Rock. Okay, Goyf. So they did. They, they didn't have Hand Disruption and they are Black Green Rock, so... Hold Fountain. Taps. Let Goyf resolve. Jay's cutting cast away. All right, let's fetch here. Let's grab basic planes. Play Narset. Take down Narset. Uh, Cybershade asks, what is your score so far? Um, well, I don't like to talk about that in a YouTube video. Like, we stream our gameplay for YouTube, and I don't want to give spoilers. So you can just look on the bottom right of your screen, and you can see what, what our record is. Like, right down there to the bottom right, you can see our record. All good. I actually whiffed with Narset, which is crazy. Okay, so there's Soul Tie, so probably an Oko deck. Okay, it's it's shadow, but I can I can verdict into verdict if things get crazy, so this is fine. Question is do they got thoughtsies? Another shadow solid. I'm getting some nice supreme verdict value here. Happy about this one. Gonna attack Narset? They're gonna attack me. Dude, that is fine. I get to get another Narset activation? I'm happy with that. All right, I guess we're ticking down. And yo, that's pretty nice too. That's pretty nice too, not gonna lie. Sure. <laughs> you can cycle in response. Buy everything. They, they probably for sure had up Stubborn and Nile. For sure. That's the reason why they left at the blue and committed to the board. All right, I think uh, I think we got him. Oh, 
Oh, another one? Don't. Okay. Oh, this is, again, more value. I like it. This is solid. Russian Dreams. Since 1995. All right. Well, we're doing it again. And no more cantrips for you. <laughs> No more cantrips for you. I gotta get out this this chalice quick. I swear, if they top another shadow, I need to get this chalice out now. Because I, I ran out of shadow answers. <laughs> so please, don't top deck the fourth shadow, please. Okay, so there's the red splash for, you know, TBR and K command. No, dude, please. Oh, no, they only have three types. They only have three types. Okay. Oh, they're passing? Ooh, this is our chance. Okay. No, 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 not that one. Wrong, wrong, wrong one. This one. If it resolves. Please. Okay. I think this is gonna resolve, but if it's, um... Okay, they're gonna crash the peatland. If it, if it does resolve, they could still have Abrupt Decay or Assassin's Trophy to deal with it, but usually they don't have that stuff in their main board. Usually their main board is just like pushes and dismembers. So now we should be solid. And since they're so close to death, I think I'm just going to go with Jace and Tick Down. They're so close to like, or so close to having lethal on them. I'm just going to make a 2-2 two -two here. And if they have another threat, I can desphere it. So, yeah, this is fine. Alright, fetch here. Grab another hollowed. Pick up. Oh, another supreme bird. And they also can't cantrip. So when they cracked that peatland, it fizzled because their Mishra's bobble already went off. I get to draw a card and discard a card. All right, let's discard. I'm gonna discard Wall of Omens, make absolute sure that we can deal with a threat if they get one. Yeah, they scoop it up. <laughs> oh man, Wrath and a Wrath is a good way. Yeah, they reveal their hand, land, land, stubborn denial. I knew it, I knew it was something along the lines of that. Ashiok seems good here, actually, yeah, they have Delirium shenanigans going on. I like Ashiok. I like more removal in these spheres. Rest in Peace is... It shrinks Goyfs and makes them unable to delve Gurmag Anglers. So maybe. Um, I want Celestial Purge. I want Timely Reinforcements. Let's bring all this junk in. Uh, let's cut our backup win cons. And let's cut... Um, uh, I like Oko. Fairy is probably needed too because it gives us protection from Stubborn Denial. They can't trip a bit, so Narset's fine. Do I just cut filler? Just like cut walls? Because walls are kind of filler. I mean, I guess so. Gideon makes chump blockers too, so Gideon's not terrible. Okay, we can exile the grave. We can deeds fear a threat. I'll keep this. Probably gonna get thought seized. Yo, Jesse! Jesse Fuller Music, hello. Um, I when I made the video the other day, when I um made the intro for it, I kind of like I was trying to remember your username. If it was either Jesse Fuller or Jesse Fullerton. Because I've heard the the name Fullerton a lot, so um I said it was either or. Like, I already have all the work done, so I don't want to, like, re-record the intro. But it's fine. And, uh, I, I want to, like, check back and, and clarify that I didn't say this is Jesse's list, because I didn't say that. Um, because I, I brewed with your idea and Drill Boss's idea together, but it wasn't particularly anybody's list. 
but I did shout you out in the intro for like thanks for the thanks for the uh, suggestion. All right, let's fetch here. Grab a hollow found. They still didn't have any threat. That's nice. Nice. That's a good top deck. We have a lot of three drops. Yo, back of Narset is not bad. I can dig 16 cards deep for four things. They have enough for an angler now if they want to play an angler. And I can't believe that I didn't get thoughts eased. Can't believe it. There is an Inquisition. Probably taking the D. Probably taking the D sphere. For sure. You can hear the neighbors in the background. They're always like yelling because their dog gets out. And you can hear their dog in the background too. They have like, I don't know, like I've never seen like the inside of their house, but I think they have like two dogs and like one of them's very obviously a lot more louder and energetic than the other dog. And the other dog is, I mean, I don't know, it's probably either passed away at this point. It's like, I've never hear, I never hear that dog anymore <laughs> or uh, I don't know, something like that. The other dog is just very quiet. They did take the D. So I think I'm going to go Ashiok maybe. Or do I go Narset? You know, I'm I'm probably gonna go Ashiok while they have uh, that Delirium up. I, I want that Delirium they have gone, so it turns off future Inquisitions. But they're probably gonna stubborn denial here. So I probably should have went with one of my redundant Narsets. Yep, as expected. I probably should have waited. So now they get to keep their Delirium. Unfortunately, I wanted to get rid of that. Burden Kitty Combs. And there's a Traverse. That's what I wanted to get rid of. I do still have one more Ashiok to draw into, and Narset can find me a rest in peace. Oh, there's my doubling season. Let's go Narset. What did they even find with the Traverse? They found a Street Wraith. Why? Oh, there's a Rest in Peace. All right, let's grab the Rest in Peace. We'll play that next turn. So hopefully they don't find a Goyf Wrangler here, or an, an Angler, rather. An Angler or a, a Traverse to make use of their graveyard while they can, because I want to get rid of it immediately. Seven eight goif, yo. Hopefully I can shrink that. Before I use Narset though, I want to rest in peace to see if it's gonna resolve. Oh no, I probably should have oh actually yeah, that's fine. Because I want to see really quick if I want Narset to grab a backup one. Okay, it looks like rest in peace is resolving. That's good. Does so minus Narset now. Let's go and grab that journey to nowhere, seems nice. Let's fetch Chalk. I'm not going to play Teferi here because they can Stubborn Denial it. Um, so, actually, no, I don't need to. I am going to play Teferi because their Goyf is shrunk now. So, let's go grab a Hollowed Fountain. Shocked. Let's play Teferi. And it resolves. Alright, I guess I'll bounce the Goyf. I want to draw a card. Okay, so now next turn I can just play Doubling Season and then Jason we win. I think. <laughs> Assassin's Trophy on Rest in Peace. They can't do that. Can't do it at instant speed. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. All right, there we go. Now they can do it if they want. You're super curious, however, about the list. Did it end up looking like... In general terms, I used the idea of cocoing into, um, oh, I don't, I actually, 
shouldn't say it on on stream right now because this is this is going on youtube probably and i don't want to spoil it for youtube so in between rounds i'll tell you what it's about this game might end really quickly here so it should be good so tick up to fairy i don't have to worry about doubling season because they don't got blue mana up and they didn't even threaten it so let's just go doubling season here oh i should have done that before i played to fairy or before i ticked up to fairy to get double the loyalty. But I don't think it works like that actually when you use Planeswalkers. But then we got a Jace to back the follow up, and that should be lethal. Yo, okay, so they can take my infinite Jace here, but I have double Narset to find another one. I have plenty of Narset usage here. So that was a very timely, very timely Thoughtseize. But with this Journey to Nowhere and double Narset digging me a bunch of cards, I think that I can deal with any Shadow at this point. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take up to Fairy. Yeah, see, it only pluses one. It doesn't work like that with Planeswalkers with Double Season now. It only happens with the initial. All right, so... Blue, blue, green. Play another Narset with 10 loyalty on it. Minus two. Try to find a Jace. There's a Jace. Play a land to get around Stubborn Denial. Play a Jace. All right, do you got a Counter Squall or is this game? Looks like it's game. Now we start making infinite Jaces. Infinite Jaces. <laughs> All right, opponent. Do you have an answer to this? Do you have an answer to this? Because I'm not going to chump block on your shadow with a single illusion. I'm blocking with a hundred of them to make sure TBR doesn't get there. Make a bunch of illusion tokens. You going to concede now? <laughs> They're not conceding. They're fighting it out. They're fighting to the very end. They're probably going to draw like a Maelstrom Pulse and kill every single one of these. And then what are they going to do after that? They're going to have to Maelstrom Pulse Jace first. Okay, so hear me out. What if they have Savage Summoning? And they're going to Savage Summoning out a Death Shadow right now. <laughs> and then they top deck TBR. But that still doesn't do it. They're going to have to crack their peat land and draw double Maelstrom Pulse, deal with my Jaces and then my Illusions. And then I still have the, the Nar set with eight loyalty and find another Jace, so I think we got this. And I think that's enough. We'll stop there. We will stop there. All right, opponent, you're go. What do you got? Can you 16 us? Cycles of Street Wraith? Sure. That's, you did, that didn't even do anything because I have Narset. You literally just paid two life just to pay two life. <laughs> A few moments later. Nice draw, ha ha ha. Run to the local store and buy a coupon. Salt. One single word. Run to the store and buy more salt. Actually, wait. You have more than enough already. Say hello to Twitch and YouTube. Two hours later. One eternity later. Oh, yay! The opponent finally conceded. Got a game here against Mao1986, who stole my avatar. I use the Thought Sponge now, but I used to use that one for the longest time. Ever since uh, that walker came out in Origins. Alright, um, yeah, let's keep this. We got the combo in our hand. We have the Chalice to Disrupt, the Narset to Disrupt, so... Got some disruption and got the combo. What more could you ask for? Except for some removal, just in case they're on aggro. That's all. That's all I'm thinking. 
Darks look shores. Oh, don't thought seize me, bro. Come on, man. I don't want to fight this. I don't want to run into this. I I want to stop running into thought seizes forever. If I could like, if there could be a single card that I could just like have the magical power to just not run into anymore ever, it would be thought seize. In a heartbeat, I would say thought seize. I really hate getting thought seized. Thoughtseize is going to probably take our Chalice. And they see our combo already, so they know exactly what we're up to. What's up, Shanid123? The combo is uh, this two-card combination right here. Doubling Season makes Jace enter with double loyalty. And it can ult immediately and make infinite of uh, infinite clones of itself. All right, let's play Narset. Go looking for some goodies. Uh, we whiff, and we do bottom three lands, which are lands that I actually wanted, unfortunately. So, uh, duress is fine because I know that they're a budget player, and the rest of their deck might reflect upon that and be a a deck that's very easy to beat. All right, let's mine us with Narset again, and let's go grab, um, I think I want to grab another Chalice. Tefer Big Teferi's good here, Verdict is probably fine here, but I probably want to grab another Chalice. Um, and I want to probably, they can spell Stutter Sprite in my, like, anything I do here, but I think I still got to go for this. So Detention Sphere, try to hit that Bitter Blossom, it's going to get spell Stutter Sprited for sure. Yep, does get spell search by We saw that coming a mile away. Gonna make another fairy. Field of Ruin. That can hit my green source, but I do have one basic forest, so it's fine. I really hope to top land here, so I can get out this doubling season and then go for Jace. Maybe they don't know what the combo is. Yo, we actually got it. All right, cool. So let's fetch. Let's grab a basic forest, just in case they feel the ruin. Oh, that doesn't make sense, because I could have just got the basic forest. All right, doubling season, does it live? Does it resolve? Hopefully it doesn't get drowned in the locked, because I have just enough for drowned in the locked to do something here. They have another spell that are spread, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to top deck another Detention Sphere, or another, um, either a Wrath or a, a Doubling Season off the top, or else it's just game. So they got the Nut Draw, Thoughtseize into Bitter Blossom into Double Spell Stutter Sprite was like the best, uh, the best start fairies could get with the Muta Vault on board too. So yeah, they, they just got like the best draw they can possibly get in Spirits. And it's a little bit hard for, uh, for most decks to beat that. I did get the Supreme Verdict, so I can Wrath here and uh, buy us a little, a little teeny bit of time. All right, another Dark Slick Shores. Yo, what's up, Stickball Russ? How's it going? Only problem is now with B season Jace combo on MTGO is that odd Jace's stick around. You know, you get four of them each time that it minus five, so you have enough. All right, so let's start on Wall of Blossoms. Cantrip. There's our other doubling season. All we have to do now is live. Um. So, I think I want to Chalice on one here, because I don't want them to top deck a Thought Seize on me. And knowing my luck, that's the kind of thing they would do. We're going to Force a Negation on the Chalice on one. Okay, so at least it's a Force of Negation that's not going to hit my Doubling Season. So there is a chance here, there's a legitimate chance. I can block the Muta Vault, I'm taking one in the air, I can slam the Doubling Season, I'm not dead next turn, and then I slam Jace. But the only problem is they got those flying fairy rogues, 
and those can definitely get around it. I'm gonna go grab a basic planes here. I have enough blue already. Seer and visions, because I don't have the chalice. They get in for one in the air. I go down to six. All right, so I have a feeling this doubling season will resolve. They have another bitter blossom. That's actually pretty scary. Play the doubling season. Play the land. I'm not going to fetch that land. And pass a turn. So I'm taking two in the air. And I'm going to go to four. And they have four in the air. But I can go Jace plus Journey to Nowhere and live on one. And that's the plan. That is the plan. I just need them to not have interaction. Because Jace makes non-flying illusions. They're on the ground. All right, so I need this journey to nowhere to resolve and hit one of the fairies. Does it resolve or do I die? Okay, it resolves. I get rid of a fairy so I can live on one. I need them to not have any flying, like no brazen borrowers, none of that stuff. Is this Jace resolving? Okay, it resolved. It resolved. It resolved. But it's not over yet. It is not over yet. I make infinite Jaces. I make infinite Tutus. But if they have any flash flying attacker, we die. All right, I can read chat now while I'm doing this. Marin Mons. Wait, what are you saying? Marin Mons is like what the most ridiculous a hit I can do. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, hello, Stickball Russ. We are doing some infinite Jaces tonight. All right, now we can start getting infinite tutus. All right, opponent. Now, if you if you have if you have any flash flying fairies, now is the time to reveal it to me so I can scoop. Oh, they don't have it! They don't have the Flash Flying Fairy! Oh, man, that was close. I mean, if they had, um, access to, um, if they had access to, like, Collector Brutality, they shouldn't have scooped, but that's a little bit of information right there that we know they don't have Collector Brutalities, at least in the main board, but that was difficult. Dovin's Veto is probably whatever. They do have Force and Negation, so maybe I want it. Hello! Delirious Mango, thank you for the follow. Uh, timely reinforcements. It puts out ground blockers. That's the problem with it. Um, Ashiok's not horrible. Um, Celestial Purge might be decent because it can hit a Bitter Blossom. And a Lily if they run that. Um, Detention Sphere can hit Bitter Blossoms. Um... Uh, yeah, I can, like, cut some of these walls because they don't really block much. They only block on the ground. Um, so yeah, it's sort of like that. Maybe I want Gideon, because maybe I can pressure them, pressure their life total. But they can just attack Gideon with their flyers. So, yeah, let's just run it back like that. Concordant Crossroads isn't in modern, sadly. Yeah, it's not. But Mass Hysteria is in modern. So it's Mulligan. And we didn't get land, so let's mulligan. I think this is our first mold of five of the stream. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one. Let's bottom a redundant in our set. And, um... Let's bottom probably... Both of the Nar sets, because I think that... The fairy stopping their instant speed interaction is good. And we got Inquisition, so this is really bad. We might just lose now. All right, Misty Rainforest, let's just fetch now, just the F6. Fetch our Breeding Pool tapped and pass the turn. There's a Bitter Blossom. All right, I really need this Teferi to resolve, so I at least am doing something. Like, I really need to do something. This is really difficult. Like, mulling to five and getting inquisitioned is, like, where you don't want to be. 
Because if you get, if you mulligan when you mulligan to five already, it's like you have a four card hand and it's just bad. They um, have a spell setter spread, unfortunately, and they counter my Teferi and got their value. They missed their land, but it doesn't matter. They got their, their nuts curve out of Inquisition and a bit Bitter Blossom into spell setter spread yet again, uh, which is like one of the best starts you can do. Because it leaves you with a constant board state like this of like ever growing and and your opponent now has bad cards and you have a bunch of flyers that are difficult to deal with. And they even found another hand disruption spell to take my uh, potential win con. So the opponent is just walking all over us right now doing exactly what it is they mean to do to just like bop us. So this is not good for us, but we do get to be on the play in game three at least. I'm hoping to top deck a, another doubling season here and have them not counter it, but that's just asking too much because they probably have like a play set of Force Negation in their hand right now. Um, Alright, since I drew the Chalice, I think I'm going to Chalice on two because I think that stops the most out of their deck. Is it going to resolve though? Or do they just have another another Spell Stutter Sprite? Snapcaster Mage and does nothing, they're just getting an attacker. So I'm kind of hoping to draw a Supreme Verdict now, because they committed to the board. I have Chalice on two, so a lot of their deck is locked down. They have a Creeping Tar Pit. Going down to eight here. Or to seven. Alright, Supreme Verdict or Bust. We didn't get it. Alright, so that's game. Let's go on to the next one, and we get to be on the play this time. But being on the play is going to be a lot better. Uh, so on the play, I think I'm bringing in this, this Gideon. I think I'm going to try to race on the play because they got those, uh, Bitter Blossoms and stuff. I'm going to try to race it. What is, what are you saying, Russ? Mervin's mind is like... What's the most ridiculous I can do? Let's do it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Russ. You've, you've caught on. You've caught on. That's exactly what we're doing. All right. Would you like to play first? Sure. Why not? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to keep that. We got Cantrip to maybe get us to Teferi quickly. And by that time, they won't be able to spell set or sprite it. Oh, wait. Don't have six. Turn off a lot of yields. Don't have six. I just have six, but I stopped it. If I pass a turn without playing a land, I would have I would have salt scooped. <coughs> Excuse me. All of fountain go. All right, you got your thoughtsies. I bet you do. Ooh, no thoughtsies. A miracle. All right, breeding pool shocked. Wall of women's. Draw a card. <coughs> There's the Gideon. That's good. Gideon with Bitter Blossom is amazing. Come on, slam that Bitter Blossom. Do it. Thank you. This bounces enchantments, right? Yes, it does. All right. Shaka Temple Garden here. Very. Bounce that Bitter Blossom back. And then we can follow up with Gideon into this doubling season and start making a million two twos. It's gonna be a good time. If they don't leave up force of negation here. Bitter Blossom is back out. That is fine. Tick up Jace here. Crack this flooded strand, go and grab a basic planes, play Gideon. Make a 2-2, pass the turn. Alright, I like I like where this is going. I like where this is going. All right, let's attempt this. I really would love to chalice on two here, but let's attempt this Bitter Blossom. Or not the Bitter Blossom, the doubling season. It's not going to resolve, but we'll try. Oh no, they can't. I have to ferry. They can't respond. 
They can't respond. I have I have Teferi. Yep. No respondent opponent. I got Teferi. Lol. Yeah, they scoop it up. Why? Because they know I'm going to make double tokens with Gideon. Lol. That's so good. Yo, this... I Like, the more we play Gideon, the more I think it should be, like, in the main board. But, you know, it's it's a lot worse on the draw. It's much worse on the draw. But, like, on the play, this thing has just been amazing. It's been so good so far. Got a game here against Bill Zive, and we're going to be on the draw with some banned infinite Jace combo, and we're going to keep that hand. We got the turn two wall into the turn three to fairy. Okay, it's an Urza deck. Uh, we actually haven't gone up against an Urza deck all day, and we, uh, we're going to be put to the test here and see if we can beat it or not. Nah. Darksteel Citadel, so maybe it's not Urza. Chalice- oh, dude. Joke's on you. I'm playing Chalice on one as well. Alright, let's grab a Breeding Pool. Taps. Untap. Play a Racial Fortress. Play a Wall of Bosoms. There's an Oko. Oko's really good as well. They could have their own Oko here, actually. Another Dark Souls Studio. Also, just Prison. Just some kind of Prison deck. Okay, I think I'm gonna go... You know, yeah, let's go Oko. Oko can end the game pretty quick. Alright, tick up Oko, create a food token, pass the turn. So Oko's like an alternate win con. We're gonna try to go for that alternate win con here. And Oko can start trading foods for their, their Dark Steel Citadels, and that's kind of funny. Oh, they're gonna kill my food token, unfortunately. All right, so let's go with the fairy here. And let's uh, minus on one of their Dark Steel Citadels, bounce it back to their hand, play a Flooded Strand, make a food token, and um, I can. Oh, I could have exchanged uh, for their Dark Steel Citadel. That would have been funny. Just exchange a wall for their Dark Steel Citadel. I definitely wanted to do that, but I. Forgot to. Alright, they're gonna kill another one of my food tokens. That is perfectly fine. But I can slam this doubling season and then slam the Jace. And I don't think they're gonna counter him anytime soon because I got to fairy. Is a time? Chalice on two. That is fine as well. I was actually about to chalice on two, if I'm being honest. I was about to do that. Alright, so let's minus. Oh, I can't minus five here. Exchange control target artifact or creature you control with target creature and opponent controls. Okay, only creatures. So Flood of Strand, let's crack it. Go and grab a basic island. Let's play a doubling season. And let's make a food token. Let's take up Jace and pass a turn. All right, opponent, can you win here? Do you have a Mox? Do you have a Mox? Do you have a Mox? That's the question. Oh, I should have put my Chalice on zero because they could have the Mox. Dude, if I get screwed over here by a Mox, I'm going to be so sad. Because I have the combo on, on board. It is ready to go. It is ready to fire. Please. Please don't have a mox. They're gonna do it, aren't they? Oh, I'm gonna be salty all night long if I didn't if I get screwed over by not chalicing on zero here. <laughs> oh, they're paying costs for something. What avatar is this? Is this one of the new creature collection things that they stole from SCG? Scrambled good boy, yes it sure is. I saw it, so they're paying cost for something. So it's probably not a mox. 
This deck could use a few Elvish Spirit Guides, I wish. If only that were legal. Could play Simeon Spirit Guides. No mocks, no mocks. All right, good, good, good. It's Urza. Mystic Forge. Mishra's Bobble. See? I could have chaliced on zero. And stop that Mishra's Bobble. I can steal their construct token for a food. That's pretty funny. And also, what I can do is I can chalice on six so they can't grab a lattice. And I actually might be forced to do that because they can lattice next turn. So. Oh, surge node. Okay, they might be playing my, uh, my charge counter deck that I put on YouTube. Right, let me see, let me show the game log. Or not the game log, the chat. Nope. Doesn't look like it. They chaliced on zero, okay. Now I'm definitely chalicing on zero. Okay, so I think they're definitely, they're definitely 100% going to grab a lattice. So I don't think I can, like, because if I jaced here and made infinite tokens, what they're going to do is they're going to go grab, um, they're going to go grab a ensnaring bridge and I wouldn't be able to win through that unless I found my, um, oh, you know what? I probably could because Oko can exchange control of, oh no, it can't. Actually, no, no. Teferi can bounce it. Yeah, Teferi would be able to bounce it. All right, so take up Teferi. Yeah, I think we're going for Jace here. But no, no, because then if they, if they Karn, then I wouldn't be able to use my walkers. So they would, they would go one, two, three, four, five, six lattice. And they would crack their 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 uh ins this thing for four. Yeah, they don't have enough for, for a Lattice plus Bridge. And if they play just Bridge, Teferi bounces it. If they play just Lattice, um, then I just attack them. So they would need to find it naturally. Like, they would need to find... Um, yeah, no, I could. I can't take their Urza here, but I can take their, their Karnstruct. Um, I have Chalice on zero. Oh, no, I can't even Chalice on three. I can't even Chalice on three. What am I thinking? I already used it on zero. So yeah, Jace is my only play. So I guess we just go infinite here and hope for the best. If they have uh, if they have the bridge, Teferi bounces it. All right, make infinite two twos. Is that going to be enough? What's the best thing of theirs I can take? I probably want to take their their construct from them. Like I want to probably use Oko to take their construct because I that gives them one more mana and I want to reduce as much mana as possible. See, this could also be an infinite life combo if I had like a soul sister on board or something. Or if I had an impact tremors, this would be infinite damage already. That'd be pretty funny. Okay, I have enough tutus. Now let's exchange control of Chalice on zero. Oh, I can take the Urza. You're right. Is power three or less? I thought it was toughness three or less. Oh, I got, I got countered. All right. 
So their Karn can grab a bridge. And then Teferi bounces the bridge. So I think we got him. Yeah, I think we got this one. This is a very difficult game. I didn't think about I I thought that Oko was said CMC 3 or less. I didn't know that it was power 3 or less cuz I don't play Oko. So this is the second time I've played Oko ever. All right, so they would need two bridges here. Two bridges. And, um, yeah, that, that's the only thing that would do it, just two bridges. What do they do? They turn their- they lost the chalice on zero, they turned it into a zero-zero. So Healy is on top. So, without Karn, they can't- without, um, without Urza, they can't go infinite with Sahili. They crack their Inventor's Fair to shuffle away the Sahili from the top of their deck. And let me guess, Bridge? You can't even cast it, you're tapped out. They have access to one mana from Mox. They find another Mox, so they're just trying to get enough mana for Bridge. So they must have three Moxes here. So they're gonna float a mana with this Mox, play another Mox, float a mana, play another Mox, play a Bridge. And they didn't have it! Alright, we're moving on to sideboard. That was a very close game one. But it feels like I probably want uh, Damping Sphere here, because they're they're storming off. Uh, I probably want Jovan's Veto and Attention Sphere as well. And I probably want Stony Silence. And maybe rest in peace, but probably not. Um, so yeah, let's just bring in those. And let's cut Supreme Verdicts. And let's cut, um... What else? Walls? I probably don't need walls. And... Yeah, that's enough. I don't think Gideon's gonna win here. Like, I don't think we're gonna win by beats here. I think we're gonna win by locking them and controlling them out. Okay, we got a Stony Silence and a Chalice in our opener. I'll keep that. Mishra's Bobble, Inventor's Fair, Surge Node. Astral Cornucopia. We're gonna look at the top card of our deck. We're gonna put a Chalice on zero here. All Fountain tapped and pass a turn. I should have started on Temple Garden. Ooh, there's the fairy. That's pretty good. And so now, Stony Silence shuts them the heck down. Like, they're screwed now. <laughs> they just scoop- <laughs> They just scoop to Chalice on Zero into- Into whatchamacallit. They scoop from Chalice on Zero into Stony Silence. That's hilarious. That's amazing. <laughs> Yo, I'll take it though. Got a game here against Did O Guy O T T I one. I think he's in the chat. I, that sounds familiar. Um, we're gonna keep this hand. We are gonna be on the draw with some uh, infinite Jace combo. We got the Chalice on two, and I'm happy about that. But it is Shadow, so it might just get ripped out of our hand with the Thoughtseize right now. Um, I'm actually kind of hoping it's an Urza deck because I really hate getting Thoughtseize. That's like. My pet peeve in magic is getting Thoughtsies. I hate it so much. Inquisition counts too. So there goes our Chalice. Yo, back of Chalice. See, whatever you take, I'm just gonna draw it again. Oh, now she's a full band? Oh, I didn't know Becca Stevens. Came up with the Sweet Pioneer Brew. The Reckoner affects Fire's Invention, Star of Extinction. You know how hard it's gonna get me to get up seven mana off of Fire's Invention for Star of Extinction? Difficult. But yeah, that's that's a that's a list that everybody likes, but it's just nobody plays it because it's not super viable. Like getting a Reckoner out and getting that big huge damage spell and getting it to work, like 
That's that takes so much. All right, let's grab a breeding spool. All right, they just thought seized us, so they took both of our chalices, and I didn't get a third. So now I'm going to need to not get this D sphere stubborn annihilated or ripped out by a third thought seize. But look at that, they got a third thought seize. So good for them. But this is the reason, this is the one thing I don't like about modern is constant hand disruption everywhere, like literally everywhere. And I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. And I wish it was gone. All right, so Hollow Fountain tapped, and then we can de-sphere- wait, they- Did they just double Thoughtseize me? They had triple Thoughtseize. Yeah, I'm dead. Fun. All right, well, let's go on the sideboard and bring in more Detention Spheres, and let's bring in Ashiox and Rest in Pieces and Celestial Purge. And let's cut- Teferi, Jace, and Wall of Blossoms and Wall of Omens. And Timely Reinforcements to cut another Wall of Omens. And maybe Gideon? Probably not. It's too slow. Alright, we're gonna like that. And we gotta be on the play and not get thought seized. But of course it's gonna happen. We all know it is. Why don't people play Rise Fall? I think that's a very underrated card. Would you like to play first? Yes. Well, I got the Chalice, and I'm gonna keep it and hope they don't thought seize me, so I want hope here. Have you at least heard of the other name I mentioned, Jesse Fuller? Uh, like, Adrian Lenker slash Big Thief. But I also want to learn some Typhoon songs. Because I've been, like, inspired to get back in it. And, like, yesterday I was thinking of picking up the guitar and just playing some jams. But I'm likely getting Stubborn Denial here, but, you know. Yep. Stubborn Denial for sure. Thought Scour, Okay. I like this, but, you know, this could get K-commanded and abrupt decayed and assassins trophied and abraded and, you know, all that good stuff. Collective Brutality. Gurmag Angler. That's gonna get D-sphered. That's gonna take the biggest D. Alright, let's fetch here, grab a base of planes, and D-sphere. Get rid of the angler. Pass the turn. Now I just gotta draw lands. I got the, the combo. I just need the mana for it. Collective Brutality gonna take Supreme Verdict. But that is fine as long as they don't play a threat. They have definitely got some reading to do. Rest in peace. Yo, that, that ain't bad at all. No more anglers, no more goifs. And no more shadows. Got all three of their threats on lock currently. Okay, there is a temple garden. I just need one more mana. One more mana for the doubling season. And I have a backup one, so even against Stubborn Denial, I have the backup. So please land. Nope. But Celestial Purge is not terrible. That stops the Liliana if they somehow brought them in. Still nothing. They have more mana than me. Minus. Grab a backup Narset. We just bottomed two islands. That's unfortunate. I wanted to draw those. You have not? What kind of genre do you play? Are you like a rock musician? Oh, they just concede. They. I think they know our combo. I think they know it. All right, so let's run it right back like that. See if we can snag this one. And not get thought seized like crazy. It's possible. Okay, uh, we got the Narset. We got the Journey, so that's pretty good. I'll keep it. Let's 
up, Sword Wolf? Long time no see. Welcome back to the stream. They got Once Upon a Timmy. They are grabbing a Street Wraith. They cycle a Street Wraith. They're down to 16. No fetches, no shocks. Oh, you play Jazz. I don't really know Jazz all that much. That's a genre that I never really dwelled in or delve or dove into. I've I've experimented with a lot of genres and played a lot of genres and listened to a lot of genres, but jazz is not one of them. But I have, you know, in learning guitar back when I was a little kid, um, you know, playing like jazzy stuff and like learning jazz like scales and whatnot was very useful, but it wasn't like Something that I did forever. But I, I respect it, and I, I like the kind of jazz that Avaros plays in his stream background music. Pretty solid. I like the fact that jazz is just literally a, a genre where you jam out and have fun. And that's what it's about. Um, let's make better use of the mana and just, you know, I'm not going to play the D-Sphere, actually. Let's play Journey. Um, you know, if something gets seven annihiled, it's going to, like, literally, they have a five power guy, so it doesn't matter. So I guess just play the D-Sphere. If they have seven annihiled, it would counter it either way. Journey to nowhere or D-Sphere. Yep, and it does get seven annihiled, so they're going to get a nice molly whopping on us. But I do have that, um, Supreme Verdict that they do know about. Oh, wait, no, they don't know about it, actually. They didn't thought seize us. So, I hope they commit more to the board so I can verdict. Okay, never mind. They supreme verdict and they take our wrath. So, now I'm gonna have to just journey. Excited for the Wednesday vid? Well, it's gonna be a Friday vid. It's gonna be a Friday vid. Um, but yeah. But we're streaming it on Wednesday, so... It'll be at the same time we usually start streams, 4 p.m. PST, but I usually sometimes- I sometimes start a little bit earlier than 4 p.m., sometimes like 3 p.m. if I, you know... Have the time to. Okay, um, let's go to Fairy. Let's go to Fairy here, because I can bounce this and make them recast it. And they had another Stubborn and Isle. Knew it. But that's fine, because next turn I can go Journey plus Narset. I have the mana to do that, and that's nice. So, they do have a Death Shadow, but they know we have Double Journey to Nowhere, but I'm hoping they don't have Maelstrom pulls for them. Journey to Nowhere, number one. It resolves. Get rid of the shadow. They're probably holding up Assassin's Trophy, huh? Journey to Nowhere, number two. Get rid of the Gurmag Angler. All right, come on, no Assassin's Trophy. No Assassin's Trophy. They have one card left, one singular card. They're gonna be. Oh, you're gonna head out? All right, well, peace out, Jesse Fuller. Or Jesse, I should just say Jesse. Um. Thank you again for the suggestion. Thank you for hanging out. Catch you on Twitter. Catch you on Wednesday. Okay, there's doubling season, but there's also timely, and there's also chalice. Dude, there's such good options here. Timely reinforcements gives me chum blockers and gains me some life, which is good. Doubling season is a combo piece, which I probably really need, and chalice will shut down shadows. I am so torn here. I'm kind of tempted to take a uh, doubling season because because like then Narset can minus again next turn and probably find the Jace. Oh man, it hurts so bad, but I'm taking doubling season. I would have wanted that chalice so bad, but I think since the opponent's not playing any threats, I got to capitalize on that and go for it. While I can. Oh, rest in peace. Come on, Jace. A backup doubling season. Well, I guess I'll take the removal spell. Alright. Play rest in peace. Okay, good. So, Glyphs are shrunk and Grimag Anglers have to be hard cast now. Play doubling season. Does it resolve or get stubborn and annihiled? No! 
Okay, well, I did just bought him another, another, um, I did just bought him a doubling season, so it's going to be really difficult to find another, but I do have a removal spell ready, and the opponent cannot cantrip, they cannot use their graveyard, so we have him locked decently for a while, and there was my Jace. Okay, they're at six. They are at six, so I'm going to start taking this thing down and going for it. Yeah, I'm going to start going for game here. They're at six life. They're hurting themselves. Three hits will will do it. They're going to mill me. What do they mill? They mill a detention sphere and another Jace. They found a Goyf. I don't care about the Goyf because I have the rest in peace. And nothing in passes. All right, take up Jace. I'm going to leave that land in my hand just in case of K-Command. Also, I can loot it away here with this illusion token. They're going to take it. We're going to loot. Loot away the Misty. Lay the second Narset. Keep the new Narset. Minus the new Narset. Find Doubling Season. There's also Celestial Persian Ashiok. Ah, oh, man. I'm kind of tempted to take Celestial Persian just win with Jace here. But it's, like, too late already. I'm taking Celestial Purge. I'm going for game with this Jace. Once upon a time, sure. What you grabbing? They concede! Oh, man! They conceded. We took it down. Wow. See, they hurt themselves too much. We get to the point where we stabilize. We deal with the graveyard. We deal with the board. We wrath. And then we just win with literally Jace beats. It's happened before. It happened again. It's possible. Before we get into the sped up rounds of the video, I would like to remind you that if you were considering purchasing today's deck, or any cards really, it would be awesome if you purchased through our decklist link down below. That is our tcgplayer.com affiliate link, and when you purchase through that link, it really helps support the channel. And with that being said, let's resume the video. Hope you enjoy. Hello everybody and welcome to the speed up session for today's video. We're going to speed up the next three games because they were the longest ones in the video. We do this to make sure the video is not way longer than it should be. And as I always say, if you want to catch the full games unsped up, unedited, and uncut from the video, you can go to the Twitch link down below in the description and check out the entire VOD there. So in this first matchup, this was by far the longest game in the entire stream. It was like a good, like, 50 minute round and uh we went up against jund and you know how jund can be it grinds out and never stops running out of answers so as long as we stay alive they're just going to keep battling it out with us so it just took a while so in this first game i get the doubling season and they completely stripped me of all my resources and i was down to nothing but when you top deck a jace when you have a doubling season on the table you just tend to get there so i top deck the lucky jace and that happened like three times in the stream where I like had the doubling season out and I just topped the Jace on the first turn after I dropped the doubling season. I, was, I don't know. I was just getting a little bit lucky with it. So we go into the next game, but we are on the draw this time. So we are free to get Thoughtseize like crazy. And they actually don't have a Thoughtseize in the first turn. So that is pretty nice. Um, but Renin 6 is starting to get a lot of value and is going to get their fetches back. It's going to get their stuff back. They play Liliana, so I was considering Celestial Purging the Ren, but I decided to save it just in case they followed up with Lily, and they did. They am able to desphere their Ren. So now we're at a kind of a board stall, and they um, they use uh, Fulminator Mage to blow up my land, and then they end up Colagon's commanding to blow up my Chalice get back their Fulminator Mage, and blow up another one of my lands. So they just keep delaying the inevitable. I'm just trying to get up the 5 mana to get this doubling season out because I have it going. I got this Jace now, and I can use it to brainstorm. But fortunately for them, they had triple bolt, and they were able to like bolt a bunch of stuff after the Chalice is gone, and they were able to bolt Jace as well and deal with it. Now, I really need to get this Wrath, but I need to top a White Source. But I decided to take this turn since I'm, I'm not dead yet. I decided to take the turn to drop the uh, Doubling Season because that gives me the potential to top deck a Jace for Lethal. So I'm just waiting and waiting to draw it. 
and I Wall of Omens and I find the Jace, but they were holding up an Assassin's Trophy. So in response to Jace, they Assassin's Trophy my doubling season so that I cannot go off. So I have to scoop it up and go on to the third game. They didn't start in the Thoughtseize, so I'm happy. And so I get out in our set. I have double doubling season, but what I do do is they follow up with Ren and tap out. So I just slam Gideon from the sideboard. Somebody told me to bring it in and it was a great idea because Gideon into doubling season is monstrous. You saw earlier in the video what it's capable of and it starts making a whole bunch of tokens. And when the time is right, I actually just minus Gideon um, so that I have five dudes on the table. They are going to swing for a total of 15 damage. They're going to be forced to chump block with both of their um, blood braid elves. They're in top deck mode. And then I can just also, if they find an answer for some reason, I have the Gideon itself to start taking up and beating down. So as you say, we got him by the balls yet again, and we were able to take down Jund. That Gideon is an absolute monster, and this is why we keep saying that maybe it should possibly be in the main board, because it's been doing so much work. So we take that one down, and we move on to the next game. This one's a little bit shorter. Um, let me see. We were going up against Soltai Self Mill here, and uh, they were actually... Weren't they splashing another color? No, they weren't. So they were just Soltai, and, uh, you know, the new modern-day dredge deck that's top tier. You've seen it around here and there. And they end up running us over in this first game because I just go turn to wall and then I just die to their like prize amalgams and venge vines and all that nonsense they get back by turn three, as you know, the deck is typically capable of. But in the next game, I bring in things like timely reinforcements, rest in pieces and stuff like that. Now I have a pretty good hand because I got a wall to block and B-sphere to deal with any potential threats. And this Narset ends up, I think this is one where the Narset ends up finding me a rest in peace or something like that. Um, but I'm not dead here, so I can literally chump block for a turn. I can use this turn to play a doubling season, and then the following turn I'll have six mana, which is just enough to go Narset, take down loot for Jace, and I find the Jace off of the Narset activation. So I end up taking that one, and we move on to game number three. Now, we are on the draw for game number three, so this is pretty scary, seeing how quick their deck is, but I do have Chalice of the Void, and Chalice of the Void on one is key here, because they can't cast their memory sluices, they can't cast their Stitcher suppliers, they can't cast Hedron Crabs, they can't, like, cast their Grave Crawlers, and after I deal with that um, Stitcher supplier, they're going to have no other playable zombies that they can hard cast except Prize Amalgam to be able to cast the Grave Crawlers from the Graveyard to get back their Venge Vines. And then I even end up wiping their Graveyard as well. So I just got it all going. And I have the doubling season on board already. All I'm doing is trying to get this Jace. And I Chalice actually on two here. And that's just going to be the game. Oko grinds out. Oko just completely just turned my food into creatures and was able to grind out against them. And with the Chalice on two and a chalice on one together they were not able to do anything and they revealed our hand at the end and it was quad one drop because i locked them out of it so that was pretty sweet now we go on to the last game of the video and you know how these games or these videos go when we're on a rampage you can see how it all falls apart so we're going up against storm and i actually was like okay guys it's storm we're losing game one there's no possible chance um, so I, I actually end up getting super close because I was able to hold off of it without our set because it prevents them from cantripping. So for, it prevents them from storming off. And I'm able to make infinite Jaces here, but I just need to hope that they do not have a way to go off on the next turn. So I go infinite and then I pass the turn and I need them to just not have, um, like another creature into Ritual of Pass and Flames. So they're three lands with nothing. They play the fourth land, they play another Electromancer, they Ritual, and they pass in Flames. That's all it takes. So they go wide around our infinite and they're just gonna Grape Shot us. So I scoop it up. I didn't even wanna, I didn't even wait because I knew it was over because they had Gifts Ungiven in the graveyard. They can just Manamorphose for it. Now we go into the next game and I Chalice on one. They're able to peer through Devs for an Abraid to Abraid it, but that kind of tempos them out a lot. Meanwhile, I have the combo in my hand ready to go. And I was just like um, thinking that maybe they're going to commit to a empty the Warrens. So I kind of want to save this um, Supreme Verdict. But I end up just using it because I was like so torn on whether to use it or not. I even did a card flip if you catch it in the video. And so I end up flipping heads and wrathing. So I wrath because I was going to lose if that they were able to untap with that Electromancer. So I pass a turn and then they end up having the Baral anyways. They're able to storm off. And then they did empty the warrants instead of grape shot. And then I follow up my infinite combo and I make more Jace tokens than they make goblins. So I'm able to go wide around their infinite and they scoop it up. Now I go into the last game and you can see how it all ends. 
They just storm off as Storm naturally does. Play a creature, storm off, exactly what you would expect. But this deck was awesome. It went on an absolute rampage, but you gotta be prepared for combo decks like this. So, you know, bring more damping spheres, you know, bring some storm hate, bring some combo hate. Combo hate is very important. So we ended up with eight total wins. And man, this deck, out of all the decks I've played on the channel ever, like for the past two years, we've been playing three different decks per week. You know how many decks that is? That is a lot of decks, hundreds. And this one surprised me the most out of any deck I've ever played in terms of the record. I honestly thought we were gonna log on today and end up with like one, maybe two wins if we're lucky. And I thought it was like gonna be a bad video, no wins at all, like, but you know what? It did way better than I thought. I, I did not expect these results in the slightest, but it worked out so good. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it just does. Um, so one thing that I did mention in, in the deck tech portion is that these three right here, um, were um, or these two things right here were budget things for me, budget alternatives. So what it was supposed to be is this Jace was supposed to be another Teferi, and then this Teferi was supposed to be another Oko. So if you have the funds to do that, I would recommend it highly because those walkers didn't really do much for us. However, Oko and Teferi, Baby Teferi were way better and way more useful. So I would recommend doing that if you were going to build this. Um, however, it did work out how it was. And uh, the sideboard Gideon was super good, like, every time we played it. Because it was like Gideon into the doubling season, and then his zero makes two night allies instead. And that was amazing. Like, it honestly felt mainboard worthy, but I don't know about that. You can try it out on your own terms. Um, but I would leave it in the sideboard for certain matchups. Um, like, slower, controlling matchups where Gideon's actually going to have the time and the power to actually do something impactful. Whereas, in most matchups, he'll just die. Um, so yeah, I would like put it on the sideboard and bring it in when you're on the play, but yeah, it worked out pretty well. The walls did a good job. I love the walls alongside Oko because Oko nerfs things into three threes that the walls are able to block because they're zero fours. And so that worked out really well. So that's why I really want to add a second one. Narset worked great. Beast Fear was great. See, I, I switched. I originally had the play set of Journey to Nowhere, but the fact that Beast Fear hits anything is very worth it. And you already have a lot of things to do in the second turn anyways with all of these things. And especially with the Chalice, you have so much to do in the second turn that I think you can just go with these spheres and it worked out pretty well. And you could even take them out of the sideboard and just cut the journeys and put a place at a D sphere and, you know, have fun with it. But yeah, it worked out. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. And let me know what you think about the deck in the comments down below. Let me know uh, a deck you want to see for a future video. And subscribe if you're new for the jankiest to gameplay every other day. Or should I say spiciest to gameplay? We stopped saying jankiest a long time ago. I maybe still say it sometimes. Uh, go check out the social media. Links are down below, as well as the link to Twitch if you want to catch one of these live streams. We stream every Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Hope to see some of you guys there. And thanks to all the sponsors, the patrons, and the Twitch chat. And we are going to get on out of here. What a successful video it was. I was wanting to brew this for a long time, and I'm so happy it worked anyways. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.